thank you very much. It's uh, very exciting to be here this evening. And once my uh, PowerPoint is up, um, it is called PASS. And PASS stands for Physically Active School Systems. So you can see the premise of my talk today is going to be about physical activity. So with that being said, you've been sitting for a very long time. And the research shows that after about 30 minutes of sitting, your brain actually goes to sleep. So I'm, I'm not saying to my, my past speakers here that they slept through your talk, um, because you were definitely very engaging and they had some really important information to share with us. So we want to cement and anchor that learning that we did today. So I want to get you up. So I'm going to actually have you stand up. I'm going to have you reach way up. I want you to stretch, get that body really, really stretching. That's awesome. I want, to give you, I want you to give yourself a really big hug because what you're actually doing right now is you're crossing the midline. So right now you are engaging both the right side of your brain and the left side of your brain. All right, now I'm just gonna have you put your hands down to your side. Now what I'd like for you to do is because I'm going to give you a brain teaser and this is to help engage your brain, wake it up, prepare you for some more learning, hopefully through my talk and then the talk that, talks that follow me. So I would like for you to put up your right thumb and your left pinky. And then what I want you to do is when you're ready, I want you to switch. And I want you to put your, right, your left thumb up and left pinky out. And when you get really good at it, you're gonna do it really fast. All right, this is what we call a brain teaser. Right? You are actually right now engaging both the right and the left side of your brain. So we're waking you up, and you know what? I am going to tell you, you are moving. Physical activity is about moving. All right, so I'm going to give you another one, and I'm going to have to put my clicker down on my skirt for a second because I need to use my hands. So this one is, I'm okay, you're okay. I'm okay, you're okay. I'm okay, you're okay. I'm okay, you're okay. So when you get good at it, you want to do it really, really fast. So we're just teasing the brain a little bit. I've wake, woken you up, and you all have smiles on your face. And that's really what physical activity does. So I'm going to actually have you sit. So as I said, PASS is and stands for Physically Active School System. Um, it was created by myself and my colleague from Southern Connecticut State University who is with us tonight, um, Dr. Mary Beth Feedy. Um, we just recently co-authored a book and we have created, am I not doing this correctly? We have created an initiative and we have started it here in Connecticut. So what is PASS? PASS is about creating physically active school systems. And when we think of school systems, we don't just think of a school or a building or a district, right? Meaning the K-12 structure. To us, a school district or a school system encompasses far more than just the school, just the teachers, just the students. It, en it engages everyone. It engages all key stakeholders from within that school system. That means when we're talking about a physically active school system, we're talking about creating a system where physical activity occurs before the school day starts, during the school day, and after the school day. And in order to do that, that means that we need to engage all key stakeholders. That means we need to engage our parents. We need to teach our parents and we need to help our parents become physically active themselves. We need to engage community members. We need to engage our local businesses our state leaders, we need to engage everyone. A school system is everyone that surrounds our children in our school systems and our educational programs. What are the benefits of PASS? Why should we do this? Why should we invest time and energy within our school before the school day and after the school becoming physically active? Because as you can see, there are many benefits to being a physically active person. PASS benefits all of us. It does not just benefit our, our children, youth, and adolescents from K through 12. It benefits each of you sitting out there. It benefits me. It benefits our future, right? It can help increase our self-esteem. It makes you feel better. 
how many of you felt better just standing up for a minute, stretching your legs a little bit, and moving your thumb and pinky? Yes, it stimulates. We are born to move. We are movers. Think back in when you, how many of you are parents actually? How many of you are parents out there? Right, when you think about it, when your children were born and they were moving in the womb, when they were born, first thing, we couldn't wait for them to crawl. We couldn't wait for them to walk. And then they get in school, we tell them to sit down and be quiet. Right? We are born movers. We need to get up, we need to move, we need to stretch our legs. Why? Because we need to stimulate our brains. It helps us. It helps that brain function. It helps with your, your cholesterol. It helps with your skeletal health. It helps with focus and attention. And that focus and attention and all those wonderful things that physical activity does not only helps children learn in school, it helps us as adults function better in our workplace. It helps us as parents. It helps us as community members really function better as a whole. When I think about all the wonderful things that the speakers who before me have gone on and talked about, stand up, take action, speak, we can't do that if we are not healthy. We cannot do that if we are not here tomorrow. We need to be the voice of PASS. PASS needs to happen in our schools, in our homes, and in our communities. We need to work to decrease that obesity rate, which is alarming and ever-increasing right now. We are an unhealthy nation. We are an unhealthy state. We may be wealthy, but we are declining in health. <coughs> PASS was founded on four Cs. We thought these were four critical Cs that we think, and, and I, as I listened to all of the speakers before me, at some point in time in each one of their, their speeches, they talked about one or more of these words. We need to understand and make that important critical connection between the mind and the body. We need to understand that movement stimulates our brain function, which is going to help us in every pursuit that we have. It's going to help us fulfill our dreams. It wakes up our ability to learn, to think, and to do. It anchors all that we are going to learn and be able to bring to the table, regardless of what direction we're moving in. We need to be the advocates for our own health. We need to communicate. That communication needs to be among all of us. We need to advocate and advertise what PASS is all about, what it is, the benefits of it, and how it can help our children, youth, and adults all the way into our senior years. We need to work collaboratively and cooperatively with all key stakeholders. Those key stakeholders are our students, our parents, our teachers, our administrators, our support staff, our community members, local businesses, large businesses, corporations that are among our community, universities, colleges. We need to come together. We need to take a stand. We need to stand up. And we need to speak on behalf of ourselves and our health, because that is our future. Obesity by the numbers. Here are some alarming statistics. Child ob childhood obesity right now is rapidly growing. It has tripled in the past three decades. One in three children in America are overweight or obese. That's a very scary thought. Very, very scary. In African Americans and Hispanic communities, nearly 40% of our children are overweight or obese. As you can see by these numbers, if we do not change the way in which we think, if we do not think about becoming physically active, we are going to be a part of these statistics. Physical activity is not to be misinterpreted as physical education. In our schools, physical education needs to be at the core of a PASS initiative. It is recommended by our National Association of Health, Physical Education, Recreation, and Dance that elementary students receive a minimum of 150 minutes of physical education per week. 
In the state of Connecticut, our minimum requirement is 30 minutes a week. Most schools in the state of Connecticut are receiving physical education once or twice a week for 30 to 45 minutes. We are nowhere near that minimum requirement for elementary PE. PE at the middle and secondary level, it is recommended for 225 minutes. Again, once or twice a week, maybe 45 minutes. The CDC recommends that 60 minutes of physical activity be gained each day. We are not near that. With PATH and with your physical education programs, we can start to address. Mary Beth Feedy and I decided that we were going to start PATH within the school systems because that is where our children, our youth right now are spending the majority of their time. Our hope is that through this initiative, we will spread the word throughout Connecticut. We started with a pilot program in Southington Public Schools where we were working and we, we did our pilot program there. We are now in five school districts within the state of Connecticut. We are doing service learning here at CCSU and at SCSU where our students are going into public schools and they are actually going into the classrooms and they are helping and working alongside of teachers to show them physical activity, brain breaks, energizers, content rich activities to embed physical activity throughout the school day. This is something we are going to continue and our hope is that after we work with the school systems we are going to start physically active communities and physically active workplaces. It is something that we need to address globally within our state. Without change, well, without instilling physical activity, learning the benefits of it, advocating for it, and disseminating the good news of what physical activity can do for us, this will be the first generation to predecease their parents if we continue on the climb of obesity. To me, that is a very scary thought as a parent. So I urge you as a call to action, as community members, as educators, as parents, and as human beings, to promote physical activity by doing all that you can to spread that word, conduct the community-wide campaigns, help people find out where they can become physically act active. Let them know that it's just simple standing up, sitting down, walking around your chair, walking around your office. There are many ways to become physically active. We need to come together. We need to stand up. We need to be physically active. And with that, I urge you to please stand. Reach for the sky and know that by being physically active, you will help us see a brighter, healthier, and smarter tomorrow. Thank you very much. <laughs>